welcome in. Welcome to the week. This is a little reading for whoever needs to hear this message. All right, all right. Um, we are nearly at the eclipse, June 10th. Okay, June 10th. That is happening this week. Uh, the new moon in Gemini is going to be a full solar eclipse. We've been talking about this since the, the lunar eclipse in Sagittarius, which happened at the end of May. This is like the end of the tunnel that you've been in. Okay, so there may be some good energy this week of feeling like you're coming out of the end of the tunnel, but because Mercury's in retrograde and because we're having some Neptunian energy, you may still feel a little foggy about what to do next. So um, one of the things that I've been getting in my own readings for myself, which I do every day, is that that's okay, that's part of the process. So can you tell yourself it's okay? It's part of the process for me to, you know, have a little bit of like, you can look at it as confusion or you can look at it as like, okay, lots of things are appearing. I'm not really sure of which direction to go, but it's okay that a lot of things are appearing. I'm just going to consider. I'm just going to be in that energy of, okay, just watch them kind of pass by and watch them, you know, what is going on in my own awareness of the next steps for myself. Okay. This week we are doing a past life regression session on Tuesday. Um, it's interesting that that's happening in preparation for this eclipse, the end of the parenthesis, <laughs> as though it were. Uh, this this um, past life regression session is for those who have or feel they have blocks around money. Okay, so that can be blocks around abundance, and you know abundance can be anything. So it's just about letting things flow, and that energy of Mercury and retrograde is a really nice energy uh, the Neptunian energy, because you can consider things that you may not have considered before. You're getting a little time, okay? You're getting a little time. To be fair, the change in the wind, uh-huh, oh, why? So that's a lot of cerebral energy here, to be fair and why, right? Things are going on, things are changing, and I like the Libra energy here, an air energy about consideration and things like that. But Libra has a hard time with making decisions. Um, it's this or it's that. It might be this, it might be that. So I, I think that's, that's to me, that feels very um, in keeping with what I've just been talking about, with the energies I've just been talking about. Okay. Um, oh, if you, want to, if you want to take part in that session, that past life session, there's a link below. Okay, let's see where we go here. I feel like you might have thought you had it figured out. <laughs> this is a message for somebody who thought they had it figured out. And um, new change coming in. So if, if you were, I was talking with Bracca on Friday. Bracca Goldsmith is a fabulous astrologer. I was live with her on Friday. If you want to go check that out, it's over on Bracca Goldsmith's channel. Um, that's just what it's called. It's her name. Uh, one of the things she said that I thought found most interesting was it's okay if you thought you had the answer it's okay to amend the answer it's okay to realize those things you put in place or those routines you put in place may get upended um, because new things are trying to come in so it's like it's too soon to have things settled it's too soon it's too soon to have things settled Okay, let's see. Six of Wands underneath. I'll talk you through it when I lay it all down here. Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Hanged Man, that's the sacrifice, King of Swords, I like the clarity around that, Ace of Wands, King of Cups, Temptation, that's the devil energy there. Ace of Swords. Okay, so two aces here. This is great. The final card in this part of the reading, there will be an extended for those of you who resonate with this reading. Um, the final card is clarity around your own, it's kind of like around your own bullshit. It's around your own addictions. You can be addicted to drama, addicted to um, seeking and searching. You know, some, you know, we are part of my job here is about seeking and searching and 
one can be anything, everything in moderation. One can be addicted to things that they view as healthy and good for them. Um, there was a woman one, I, I forget where I saw this. It was, I think it was on T TLC or something. I don't know, but she had bought her family, got her a treadmill and she was on it like 12 hours a day. I mean, seriously, like she was every waking moment that she wasn't doing something that could, you know, like she was in the cooking kitchen cooking, she couldn't be on it. But then when she would come into the living room, everyone's watching TV, she would get on it. And it was like, it wasn't doing anything for her body. Okay. It wasn't helping her really. Um, because it had gone past the moment where the muscles were used to what she was doing and it wasn't really giving her any benefit. And her family was kind of like, Oh man, we created a monster here. But she's really, she was really addicted to the idea of productivity. Right. And, and most of us think productivity is a good thing, right? Like, um, but with this mercury and retrograde and this Neptunian energy, um, sometimes daydreaming and allowing like that's what summer in the northern hemisphere it's summer it's almost summer that's what summer is good at it's being slow it's being lazy it's letting people just kind of take a break and you know not be so focused all the time on productivity that's definitely uh, an energy of the states for sure and so can you allow yourself to do that i think there's worry I think you're, you're uh, being inspired, but then you're worried if you follow that inspiration that you're going to end up without any money or something like that. You're going to end up without um, stability. And Capricorn down here, Saturnian energy, that is a belief system that came to you from your parents or something like that. In that uh, reading I did with Braca on Friday, it was very much, um, oh, I did a channeling there. First time ever, first time ever <laughs> live and in person on her channel. And what I remember of it, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what I'm saying, um, what it was about was I promise it will be productive. I don't know who I'm channeling. I feel like I'm channeling my higher self, but it will be productive. Fun and joy and play and making art and everything like that. Are, is productive in a creative way. I feel like some of you have lost your way creatively and um, you need to get back to that childlike energy of creativity because that is what brings in um, love and happiness and joy and fun and all of those things. I feel like you're seeing that. I feel like in the past you may have sacrificed um, you know, uh, your life to a job or to a career or to a way of living um, and now you're seeing the sacrifice you've made and you're ready to release that. You could be dealing with someone who is releasing an old way of life and it's inspirational to you. Okay. You're going to win. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you're going to win. Um, you're going to have victory around this when you follow your heart. I feel like you try to do that. You go down those roads and then you go, oh no, I'm going to, this is what's going to happen to me. Nine of swords and five of pentacles. I'm going to I'm going to be a bag lady. I'm going to be, you know, something like that. You're, you're feeling in that direction, but the universe is trying to open you up to a new way of being productive. It's, it's kind of the opposite of what you've been told or taught, because if you think about it, the way you've been taught really has benefited. It's benefited corporate America. It's benefited big business. It's benefited. Um, I remember when I first left corporate and I was doing my own work. I was doing my own business and that was great. And I thought to myself, well, I can always go back to corporate or whatever. And then when I, it was at one point when I made a, an inquiry, I was offered a job in New York city as like a director of client service, which is what I was. Um, and it was for like half the money and they wanted to put me on a plane from Sunday night to Friday night. And I was just like, what are they thinking? Like, that's just not going to work for me. And it never, I never, and I was like, okay, that's my answer. <laughs> Wash my hands of that. Cause I love having animals. I love being, I don't, you know, New York city's awesome, but I, I, I'm not a city girl. I like being, I like planting. I like gardening. I like all that. You can do that in New York city, but uh, I just found it more fulfilling to me to be elsewhere. I love nature. I love being in nature. 
So there's something here that's stopping you. Your own mindset is stopping you. Clarify that for me. Fool. Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. Ten of Cups. Are you freaking kidding me? Nine of Pentacles. This is about following your intuition, following your guides when you're in this childlike energy of creativity, following that down. Fool. Ace of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. And it is a little bit about... Um, uh, self-confidence. There's a little bit of that in there. It's like, I don't feel like I have enough to give or my light isn't enough. Something like that. And I feel like you need to release and let go of that mindset. I feel like you've done the hard work to be able to see your own voice, hear your own voice, see your own path. But right now, as I've been talking about with this Mercury in retrograde and this um, solar eclipse coming up this week and the um, Neptune. Uh, Neptune is going uh, retrograde this month as well. The energy of stop and smell the roses is going to become louder. Okay, it is going to become louder. I feel like you're going to be inspired by that and that's going to show you, it's going to shine a light on the path for you. It's like the opposite of what you thought. Page of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you're going to be learning some new things, meeting some new people, being taught um, through your intuition, through your connection to your higher self, what you need to get to the next place. So instead of going back, instead of doing things that were kind of um, taught to you as a child, you're now in a new teaching, a new learning position where you're going to take in new information that is going to bring you to a new phase of your life. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and Nine of Pentacles. That's pretty darn good, okay? That is a lot of abundance. That is potenti potential. Ace of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, the entire cycle. Eight of Pentacles is about your work. So I feel like the universe is communicating your work to you. There's new people coming around. Uh, you're going to be learning from new people, and you're going to be um, overcoming, a cl closing out a cycle. This eclipse energy is going to be shining the light on your path of destiny. Okay, that's amazingly interesting. So I do see if you could be deal, you could be dealing with a Capricorn here, or just your own Saturnian energy of I must just work harder. Right, this King of Swords is also Aquarius energy. It is. Um, Aquarius energy is, is a bit of rebellion. It's a little bit of rebelliousness around, hey, I've been sacrificing for this ideal, whatever it is, whatever it's been, whatever, you know, whoever taught you this, whatever. Um, and now it's time for me to really see the light about what my true path is, my true work. Okay. Um, this feels to me like an abundance reading for sure. It's just the path, it's the path to abundance for you runs through your own intuition and your own um, self-assuredness, self-awareness, um, confidence level, that's where it's at. So the confidence of a child, it's okay to be new at something, all right? It's okay to be new at something. And I feel like when you go toward the thing you, want, you are being told to be new at, people show up, teachers show up opportunities show up for you to exercise that muscle. Very, very cool. Well, let's see where we go with this, okay? So if this message has resonated for you, um, I invite you to continue on with me. If it hasn't resonated for you, then um, maybe at some other point it will. Sometimes these messages come through um, a little early. I, d I tend to experience them. It could be four or five days from when... Um, so. If, you, if this doesn't, didn't resonate for you, check back in four or five days. And if you're still here, like you're still watching this for some reason, all right? So um, link is below if you want to continue on with me if this did resonate for you, okay? I'll see you over there.